Dear journal that I always write in and totally didn't buy just for the sake of this video. Tomorrow, our Connect Review Unit should arrive, colon parentheses. It was supposed to arrive a few days ago, but there are some issues. You see, journal, first they sent it to John, but he was too busy reviewing Funky Monkey Fruit Chips and Sex Toys. Then we rerouted it to Devin, but he was too busy reviewing that sweet, sweet neck beard. Then they sent it to me, and I don't actually know where it went. Crunch gear. But according to the tracker, it's set to arrive tomorrow, and I can't wait. The future! In my living room! Exclamation point, exclamation point. Off to bed, semicolon uppercase P. Good morning, Xbox. Good morning, Greg. Xbox, can you fetch my slippers for me? Of course. Thanks, Xbox. You're welcome. Bang! 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 Uh oh. Good morning, Xbox. Good morning, Xbox. Yay. Hey everyone, Greg from ParacrunchGear.com. So, uh... You see, I'm always kind of hesitant to talk about Microsoft products for review because Every time I do, someone's got to be like, This anti-Microsoft bias is so strong here at TechCrunch. How much is Apple paying you for this? Because obviously someone's paying me lots of money behind the scenes. How else could I afford that sweet-ass wallpaper? On to the Kinect. It's, uh, decent? The Kinect definitely isn't bad. It's just not good yet. See, part of the problem is that so far people have been like, This is the future! And to be honest, when you're playing with the Kinect, it sort of does feel like you're in the future. It just feels like the future, not like the future. Ja. So setting up the Kinect is pretty easy. Uh, you take one thing, plug it in via USB, and then you take another thing, you plug it right into the wall for power, and you're good to go. After that, you've got about a 10 minute configuration process. It has you stand kind of close to the Kinect and then stand far away from the Kinect just to try and figure out how big your living room is. Speaking of how big your living room is, it better be pretty, pretty big. Uh, if your life involves the words college and apartment and not the words fat and inheritance, it's, it's probably not going to work. Microsoft recommends that you have about six feet of space uh, between you and the Kinect, and I found that to be a, kind of a really low ball average. Uh, if you're anywhere from I don't know, five, five to six, one or so, you're really going to need more like seven feet, eight feet at a minimum. Otherwise, in games like Dance Central, you're going to be just Spending the whole time dancing against the wall. This isn't high school anymore. You don't need to do that. One of the things that people seem to want to know about is uh, controlling the 360 dashboard with the Kinect. And this is actually something that I was really excited about. I thought it was going to make me feel like a Jedi. That is the Netflix DVD I was looking for. But to be honest, it kind of just makes me feel like a jerk. Once the 360 is all booted up, you've got to wait for the Kinect to do this little 10 second configuration dance thing, which is really no big deal. But then you've got to wave at it to get its attention. And it's not going to see you if you're sitting and waving at it, so you got to stand up and wave at it. And up pops the Connect menu, and it doesn't have everything that the 360 dashboard has. It's missing video library support, music library support, it's missing Netflix support. Uh, it's actually missing a good amount of stuff. And uh, of what is there, about a third of it is avatar configuration stuff, config, uh, Connect configuration stuff, and another third of it is advertising, which gets old pretty quick. So now you've found what you want, you put your hand on it. You've got to keep your hand there for about three seconds. If your hand slips off, the counter resets, so you've got to put it back on and wait. To be honest, at this point, outside of impressing people that come over to check it out, I can't really think of any reason why you'd want to use the Kinect to get around the dashboard uh, over the standard 360 controller. It's just a too slow, too clunky, and it's missing too much. So the Kinect has six titles at launch, and I'm just going to blast through these real quick uh, because this video is going to get really, really long otherwise. If you want to know about each game specifically, just hop on over to our text review for a little bit more about each one. First up, Kinect Adventures. This is the game that comes with the Kinect, and I don't think that was the best choice on Microsoft's part. See, the Wii comes with Wii Sports, and the PS3 Move comes with uh, Sports Champion. 
And both of those games, uh, they offer up a, a pretty good amount of replay value while also showing off the strengths of each platform. Kinect Adventures 5 minigames aren't very replayable, and I feel at times that they're grasping at straws to really show off the Kinect to the point that it gets kind of silly. Next up, Kinect Joyride. Uh, Kinect Joyride is a terrible game and no one should buy it. And I should, could probably just leave it at that, but uh, the steering is really insensitive and weird. Uh, you kind of just air steer like that, and it for something that should have proven that idea on the platform, it fails to do so entirely. Next up is Kinect Sports, and uh, this is the one you might think that uh, would have launched with the Kinect, but I can understand why it didn't. Because, uh, so there are six games. There's boxing, track and field, soccer team, table tennis, beach volleyball, and championship bowling. And a lot of these games kind of highlight the Kinect's weaknesses versus the PS3 Move and the Wii. For example, the, the bowling, it feels kind of weird versus the, well, Wii bowling because there's, you're not releasing anything. Uh, with the Wii, at least you're releasing that controller for the timing, and so it just it feels kind of strange once you've played Wii Bowling. And uh, for table tennis, for example, versus uh, that on the PS3 Move, uh, without the, the gyroscope in the controller, you really don't have that precision. And so you're not so much aiming your shot as you are putting your hand where the ball's going. Overall, though, it's a fun game. If you like Wii Sports, you'll also like this one. So next up is Your Shape Fitness Evolved. I was pleasantly surprised by this one, mainly because I've got a Wii Fit board that I use like two times and then stuffed in a closet. <laughs> Like, I need it. You seen these guns? Compared to the Wii Fit, this one's got a pretty good amount of uh, variation between exercises, and it'll fine-tune them based on your shape, your body size, and what you want. So if you want to rip up, get some muscles, you can do that. Uh, you'll need to bring your own weights. Uh, if you just want to tone up, it'll focus on toning exercises. It's pretty nice, uh, and it, it keeps, things, keeps things fresh. Little pro tip, though, the game will continue to give you positive feedback even when you're doing things completely wrong. <laughs> Next up is Connectimals, and like any game aimed at a younger audience should be, it's friggin' adorable. It's essentially the world's fanciest Tamagotchi. The whole point is that you adopt uh, a tiger cub, or a lion cub, or a cheetah cub, one of those bigger cat cubs, and then you play mini games with it. The game is also insanely realistic. Every time we play it, my dog goes absolutely crazy. Next up, Dance Central. Oh man. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm kind of a geek. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time playing music games from Rock Band to 2DX to Guitar Hero to Percussion Freaks to, yes, DDR. This might just be my new favorite. The whole idea behind Dance Central is that you dance. Uh, there's a scrolling list of dance moves on the right side, and then there's a dancer over on the left acting them out. You do what they do, and then the Kinect judges you. No, no, it, in the, it judges you in the good way. The dances range from, you know, disco to, uh, to hip-hop to the basic pop lock isolation type stuff. Uh, it'll teach you how to, how to jerk. It'll teach you how to do the, uh, the, the soldier boy dance. Uh, if your arm or your leg's in the wrong spot, so you know it's up here when it should be down there, uh, the relative arm or leg on the dancer on the screen is gonna turn red, so that's how you know. Unlike pretty much any dancing game that came before it, uh, Dance Central might actually teach you how to dance. Uh, you're not gonna be doing you know, the exact same dance moves that you learn in the game, but it's going to teach you basic rhythm, and it might give you some idea of what to do with your arms next time you go dancing at the club. Plus, it's the only game in all of gaming history that has ever made me do this. Except for Beyond Good and Evil, and that was really more of an attempted mating ritual thing. Dance Central is just a lot of fun. Uh, I've had people over to check out the Kinect a bunch of times, and every single time Dance Central stole the show. If Sports Champion was the game on the PS3 move that proved to me that the whole thing was worthwhile, uh, that's what this is for the Kinect. Uh, this is this is a game that I think should come with every Kinect. So to wrap this whole thing up, should you buy the Kinect? Uh, if you don't have a 360 yet, it's definitely not worth it yet. If you have a 360 and you want it just to get around the user interface, don't bother yet. Wait until the, uh, Microsoft adds in a little bit more support and really fleshes out the Kinect support within the UI. If you want it to play uh, Kinect Adventures, uh, maybe. It's it's probably not the best game that could have bundled with it. Uh, if you want it for Kinect Sports, probably could have just bought a Wii. If you want it to get in shape with uh, your shape, sure, lose some pounds. If you want it uh, to keep your kids busy with Connectimals uh, and to be really impressed with uh, the graphics on there, definitely check that one out. If you want it uh, for Kinect Joyride, you're absolutely insane because that game's terrible. Uh, and if you want to have a lot of fun dancing in your living room like an idiot, uh, ch definitely check out Dance Central. If you buy Connected, definitely check out Dance Central. It is uh, probably the best game on the platform so far. 
Uh, so yeah, that's really about it. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the review. Be sure to read the whole text review on crunchgear.com. Thanks so much.